assalamu alaikum we are here with another video that is how to run a moderating mo uh, model therefore i'll show you how you can process a moderation analysis on stata first we need to know what moderation is in regression analysis mo moderation occurs when the relationship between two variables depends on a third variable the third variable is referred to as a moderator variable or simply the moderate moderator right so what moderation is basically moderation model tests whether the prediction of a dependent variable y from an independent variable x differs across levels of a third variable that is z so the effect of moderating variable is categorized statistically as an interaction term that is a categorical or a continuous variable this is associated with the direction and magnitude of relation between the dependent and independent variables i'll show you how you can make a moderating uh, model here you can see uh, the independent variable which i have chosen for my uh, analysis is short term borrowings control variables are size growth leverage moderating variable is cash conversion cycle and dependent variable is return on asset as you can see in the data sheet over here as well right so let's start uh, with how you can analyze the moderating uh, model you need to go to stata and import your file uh, select import first row as variable names click okay uh, to process the moderation model it is very important to uh, achieve all the regression assumptions uh, without the interaction term right you just need to process a simple model which does not include the interaction term and you need to process all the regression assumptions for it uh let's start with the video first you need to generate the id gen id is equals to underscore n a new variable will be generated that is id which uh gives a unique number to each of the row right then you need to remove the outliers for this i am using the standardization uh remove a method of uh, removing the outliers uh, i have done this type of method in previous videos where you can see that how you can remove the outliers from different method but here i am using the standardization method for this you need to generate a standardization uh, standardized variable the command for it is e gen you need to rename your variable i am renaming it as z roa is equals to std roa your desired variable i am removing the outliers for dependent variable here then you need to summarize the roa and you will get the mean maximum standardization uh, standard deviation value then you need to replace the roa variable with the mean if the z roa is greater than 3 and z roa is less than minus 3 right so the interpretation for this is if the z roa and uh, that means standardized variable uh, value is greater than 3 or lesser than minus 3 that means those values are outliers in our model so we will replace that uh, with our mean value of the variable you can see that three changes have been made when the uh, z roa is greater than 3 and 3 4 if z roa is less than minus 3 okay so you can see that now outliers are removed we can check the normality from histogram or you can apply tests which we have done in previous videos so you can see that the roa distribution to some extent is normal so we'll consider it as normal um you can also check the normality and outliers of your control and other independent variables as well uh okay let's move on to our simple regression model which is without our interaction term moderate moderation term okay for this roa is my dependent variable short term borrowing is my dependent variable and rest of three leverage size and growth are the control variables press enter and a simple regression pool regression have been processed we need to first check the regression assumptions let's check the multicollinearity you can see that the mean bif is less than 5 so we can say that there is no multicollinearity issue in this model 
let's check the heteroscedasticity for this the command is head test uh, and you can see that it is greater than 5% which means there is no hetero in our dependent variable and to check the hetero in our independent variables you need to uh, process the command of head test comma rhs f start and here you can see that all independent variables there is no hetero because the value is greater than 5%. So there, uh, that means there is no hetero issue in our model. Let's uh, move on to um, autocorrelation assumption. For this, you need to generate the time, right? Then you need to set the time. For this, the command is T-S-S-E-T -S -S -E time. And you, here you can see that the time has been generated and set for the model. Now you can, you need you need to check the autocorrelation. For this, I am checking it with Durbin Watson command. The command is E stat D Watson. And you can see over here that it is less than two, very less than two, which means that auto exists in our model. And we need to remove the autocorrelation. For this, the command is Price Winston command. And you need to write P R A I S then select your dependent and independent variables then comma and in the end you need to write c-o-r-c and now you can see that it is almost two that means autocorrelation have been removed from our data now you need to generate the interaction term how you can generate the interaction term you need to write gen rename your interaction term i am renaming it as triple c d underscore s t b is equals to I am selecting the dependent independent variable and multiply it with our moderating variable. You can see from the model over here that the independent variable is short term borrowings and my moderating variable is the cash conversion cycle. So um, I am multiplying these two to create the interaction term. Here you can see a new variable have been generated that is the interaction term of our model, the moderating variable of our model. Now with this interaction term, you need to process the panel regression. Before moving to panel regression, you need to uh, group the companies because we are uh, using the panel data. That's why we need to group the companies and then we need to set the company and years. For this, the command is xt set company code, which we just generated, and select your years, right? Press enter, and here you can see that our data is strongly balanced. Now we need to process the moderating uh, model. Uh, with the fixed uh, regression. For this, the command is xtreg, select your dependent variable, then select your independent variable, and then you need to select the moderating variable. After this, you need to select all your control, control variables, select comma and write fe. This is the fixed model, and you need to store its estimates in order to check the Hausman in the end. For this, the command is estimates store fixed. Now your estimates have been stored for the fixed model. And then you need to process your random model. Uh, the command is same, but in the end, instead of writing FE, you need to write RE. And then again, you need to store the estimates for random model and you need to write estimates store random. Now the estimates for random model have been stored. And in order to check which model is more suitable for your uh, uh, research, you need to process the Hausman specification test. For this, the command is Hausman fixed space and full stop. Or you need to go uh, to statistics. And in the post estimation, you can launch the specification Hausman test. And here you can select the fixed one. You need to. Uh, uh, you need to just uh, uh, let this column blank and select OK. And here you can see that the same command which I have just wrote 
uh, is for the Hossmann specification test and here in the results you can see that our probability is greater than 5% which means our random model is more suitable that means this random model is more suitable for this research however if the results were less than 5% which that means we reject the null hypothesis that random model is more suitable for this research and the uh, then the fixed effect model is more uh, suitable but now in this case the value is greater than 5% that means the random model is more suitable for our uh, research so in this uh, model results you can see that r square lie between 5% which is very low but uh, between 14.5% and overall the r square is 10% uh, the model is giving the significance and uh, the interaction term is not, not showing the uh, significance that means the this moderation is not suitable for this model however the other results that means ROA is significant short term borrowing has a significant impact on ROA leverage has a significant impact on ROA at uh, 5% because the value is greater than 1% that means it is significant as 5% this value is significant at 10% because it is greater than 6% and this is significant at 1%, growth is significant at 1%, that means growth has a impact on ROA. So this is how you can process a moderate moderation and moderating model. Hope you like the video. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.